We've got Ryan down here today at JCB, one of my favourite golf courses here in the UK. Beautiful, stunning golf course. A couple of weeks ago I did a video where I had the luxury of having 10 mulligan shots that I could choose at my disposal. And I actually did all right. I putted very well that day. And I shot, I think it was 66 or 67. And I thought to myself, that's me doing that. What would a tour pro shoot if they had the luxury of 10 mulligans? And when I saw Ryan was in the UK, obviously I filmed with Ryan early this year in January at Isleworth and he's such a baller. I was like, I'd love to be able to get Ryan to his challenge. And schedules aligned and here he is. My name is Ryan Ruffles. Yeah, I'm a professional golfer. I'm from Australia. I'm currently 25 years old. I've been a pro since I was 17. I've played on numerous tours over the last few years. He's going to be low 60s. I mean, could we even say 50s? I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm putting it out there. But certainly low 60s, I think. Achievable for the young man. Yeah. I, I, got my, I got my money on a 59 if you want to pick that bet, right? I, 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 yeah. I'm very happy if he goes and shoots 59. <laughs> yeah, I'll put, I'll put £10 on him shooting 59 today okay. with 10 mulligan. I'll go. <clears throat> so, you, I'll tell you what, let's split the difference then. Yeah. Six, you can have 60 and below. Okay. And I'll have everything anything above 60. All right, it's a good deal for you, but I back my man. All right, let's go. <laughs> I've got a little bet on with Rick today. Yeah? Yeah, £10 if Ruffle shoots under under 60, I get 10 pounds. If he shoots above 60, he gets 10 pounds. 10 mulligans, that's definitely possible. Yeah, what are you taking? I'm gonna go your bet, I think 60, great, great shout. Yeah. I think I think Ryan's got a chance of holding out, I feel. I feel like once he's had a chance at one shot, and then he has another chance. Yeah. It's a good guy. Got a little bet with Rick about what you shoot today. Okay. I'm not gonna tell you till after. Okay. I think, uh, you guys might both overestimate it, but the power of the mulligan. So I think the power of the mulligan is going to matter more to an amateur than it is to a pro. I don't think it's going to have that much effect. I think on you're life. you're you're thinking you're not thinking about mulligans in the in the way that you should. You got to think like an amateur. In terms of. Well, I think it's going to like I think you could just make so many birdies with mulligans. I don't think it affects the score that much. I honestly don't think it affects the score very much at all. Maybe two shots. Okay. We'll see you after the round. Yeah. You've played with a lot of tour pros. What do you what do you rate Ruffs' game like compared to the rest? Really, it was really impressive. Yeah. I was very, 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 very impressed with him off the tee. Yeah. I thought his length off the tee and his accuracy was incredible. Short game was good, irons were good. Yeah. I mean to be honest, we played at his home track, so I was expecting great things. Be interesting to see how he gets on today at a course he's never played before, but I think I've played here enough. I can give him the lines, I can give him some guidance. Yeah. And uh, yeah, his, his game is very, very, very impressive. Yeah. Lots of great comments last time he was on the channel about how good he is. Yeah, yeah it was awesome. All right, guys, we're back here at JCB, one of my favorite golf courses in the world. And you know what? I'm excited about this video. A couple of weeks ago, we might have seen him take on a brand new challenge where I played at Marriott Wilson Park and had the luxury of having 10 million. I got to take 10 shots again. And as I was playing that round of golf, I got to thinking, I shot in the mid 60s that round. But all right, I've got a tour pro shoot with 10 million. Well, today, we are going to find out. Ryan Ruffles. Ryan. I've flown him in all the way from Florida today. That's right. <laughs> and that's why. Right. You'd have seen Ryan when I played at Isleworth uh, earlier this year. Unbelievable venue. Unbelievable golfer. Coincidentally, Ryan was in the country. I said, why don't you come up? Let's shoot a cool video. And when I pitched the idea to you, what was your first thoughts? I've never thought about it. I think it was my first thoughts. I've never thought about take. I can't tell you the last time I took a mulligan in any round. Um, so to have 10. It's going to be interesting. I'm not sure what to expect. Like, I don't know if it'll help me a lot. If I play great, it might not help me much at all. Who knows? So it's, it's going to be interesting for me too. I'm excited to find out. You know, it'd be a massive flex if you go and shoot like a 63 and only take five mulligans yeah. or something. I would love nothing more than you to be knocking on the door 
of a score that starts with number five. I love that. So we're getting into a 59 with 10 mulligans. So it's going to be interesting. This is a golf course you've not played before. It's yep. one of my favourite courses. We've been here loads on the channel before. It's a tough challenge yep. here at JCB. Um, but I'm going to caddy for you. I'm going to give you some guidance round. Probably. You've done it in full tour routine before you've stepped here on the first tee. Yep, trained yep. for three hours and all the way straight here and going <laughs> <laughs> out. Yeah, so you've been on the driving range, short Shit. game area. And putting. And putting. I've got no excuses today. Let's go, let's go low, all right? Let's go low. Not gonna use one here, I don't think. If what you're telling me is correct. If unless <laughs> unless you hit that three wood, 300 yards, I think we're okay. All right, we'll take it then. take one there. No? I think a wedge, to you. a wedge of 25 feet, I can't take one there. I've got to save 10 though. No, I'll save. Two mulligans. So oh yeah, you've wasted them big time. Oh, that's disappointing. Um, that was just, that was just a terrible <laughs> pass. <I> just <laughs> move on. <laughs> oh, I, like, no, I like how you said, good. "Silly hole." We've made a birdie. You've wasted two shots. <laughs> <laughs> See, that was your fault. Yeah. But when you made the birdie, Rick's like, "Oh, great team birdie." Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna take a mulligan here. Do you think? <laughs> yeah, there's just that little tuft behind the ball, and I was a bit worried about it. Yeah. Still one on the par. Three mulligans taken. Not as easy as I thought this was gonna be. <laughs> I get a bad lie here a little bit, and then I'm just like, oh, well, I got mulligan, so I'll try and play the flop anyway. Fifth hole, par three. This is a brand new tee. I've, you're the first person ever on the channel to hit from this tee because it's not been struck from here before. How far is it? 225, it says it plays 20 yards downhill though, so it's playing 205. To give you some idea as well, this green slope from front to back. back. It's a little bit short, it's all right. Yeah. Um, that pin, yeah, not a lot gets that pin. If anything, the green kind of slopes. Yeah, that way more to the left. I'm kind of thinking it's not one that I can be super aggressive with. I'm not sure what the wind's doing here. It feels like it really crops right now. Yeah, I mean, I've got six iron, which is a 200, just over 200 club. Yeah. Oh, that is one of the greatest golf shots I've ever seen. No mulligans. Wow. No mulligans there, <laughs> thanks. First off, that was the highest six iron shot I've ever seen. It literally touched the, touched the moon. I'm going to be no good at these YouTube stinger videos, am I? <laughs> <laughs> That is 
legs there. That is a really good birdie. These five footers, I reckon, have more pressure with a mulligan. Because you don't want to retake them. No. You know what, though? So you really want to hold them. Six holes in. Three under. Three on the par. A little sloppy to start, but we're still three under. So. Ryan's golf balls. Yeah. Because Ryan just, you know, because Ryan just swans in there, goes and orders a sausage roll or whatever. I'm there cleaning his golf ball, yeah. making sure his clubs are right. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, welcome to Josh's life. It's got me whipped, hasn't it? Yeah, it does. Yeah. Your bets are be pretty whipped. good through, through seven. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good sausage roll, Ryan. Very good. Very good. Yeah, we, we, he's got. A, they live in Isha, and we're staying with them. So, um, and so yeah, we had to catch like it was like 8:30. We were catching the train, and it's just peak out. Everybody just going, and we had to go into London to then catch a train out here, and it was just like everybody going to work. So you couldn't yeah. sit down, so I'm just standing there with my clothes on. <laughs> I just have to take my clothes on the bus at uni. <laughs> That's buses. what we did when we were here the like the week before we went out. We were going to like at least their members at a place but we were just kind of people off Instagram were just messaging me like come play and I go play different places and we were catching like double deckers and I think I've hit every transport I've hit the lime bike the lime scooter I've hit yeah the underground the overground the na the national railway I just haven't used a tram yet that's the only one that's the only one I'm missing oh I've used a black cab and an uber so I think I've touched them all except a tram Okay, eight hole par four, 421 yards. The crap yeah, yeah I think there. three wood covers that short of the fescue. I think Rick's cutting for me, but I think secretly that 66 that he shot, he wants that because he made me sit down for a sauce, couple sausage rolls and get nice and tight. I think he's uh, <laughs> I think there's a little subplot going on here. What me? <laughs> it was 67 as well, so you got a bit of room. Don't worry. I think he's, I think that course record is well and truly off the out of here. Kind of baited me into one there, but. Did you hear it, mate? Do it! Go in! Oh! Oh, I thought we had that. Oh, I thought we had that one. That was really close. Do it again! Do it again! <laughs> oh, God! Oh, my God! Put it in the other way! That's a sick clip on its own. Yeah. So, so we, we are yeah. trending. Felt like it might have been a bit yeah, good. Chris. Hi, Mark. Hey, Chris. Chris, nice to Mark. meet you. Hi, mate. Yeah, good, mate. Yeah. yeah, everybody, all right. Fantastic. We got a moment of close glory there. Oh, shaking. The pin was shaking. Because You're joking. So is that you? So he pitched it left. I pitched it left. It spun back down the hill and just missed the top side of the hole and went to the front edge there. So now Rick wants to try and get it in. <laughs> so we could do it for the next hour. He knows what he's doing. 239 from here. 239? Why have you got your shoe off? <laughs> About 60 yards away from it. <laughs> you gonna pace that one for me? I pace it better when I've got one shoe on. <laughs> so you're trying to make your cameraman some money here, big man. <laughs> I don't know what You're gonna be mad at me when I didn't get that on camera I have to steal that footage from the muzzle. I don't know I don't know what your line is and don't tell me but I'm chasing it. <laughs> okay. You know what's exciting? This is another very gettable par four. You get yeah. two back to back. I mean not that last hole is really gettable apart from the really long driver shot. This is very gettable. 250 yards, 
slightly downhill, yes. pins very much at the front. It's like 270 and it plays about 20 downhill. Um, pins at the front, look at a bit of water out the right. It takes a really good shot again, um, but if it looks like, having never played it, if you hit the right shot up the left a little bit, this could, you could get this sneak this up there pretty close, so. Just a side note, Ryan is three under, uh, sorry, four under through the last three holes with no mulligans taken. Yeah, that's right, too, isn't it? <laughs> you birded nine, you birded 10, you eagled 11. Yeah, right. No mulligans. <laughs> See, so I, I'm playing better when I don't you use are. it. <laughs> I used two mulligans so, on one par five and couldn't birdie it. So, moral of the story, let's not bother with mulligans. No, I'm joking, you've got six to go. Break, break, break. Ah, lovely no, speed. Uh, it'd be nice if I got to the... Uh, thing, but <laughs> so, birdie, birdie, eagle birdie takes you to eight on the par. Yeah, it was looking pretty kind of mid there for a yeah. while, but we picked up the pace and... Par five next. Chance to continue that on. Par five. Do we play 12 holes? 12 holes played. Eight on the par. I've got six to go, six mulligans. I just wanted to show everybody the consistency of Mr. Ruffles. Two driver shots. I mean, it's a bit front to back this version, but wait on. You said pitch the second one a little left of the first, so there you go. Like the first, yeah? Yeah, it's the first, yeah. Do you think he's going to do it? Shoot 59? Oh, he can't hear you. Say what, say again. Do you think he's going to shoot? <laughs> 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 I'm just in my own world. Do you think he's going to shoot 59? No. No. No, wow. no, no, I'm joking. Oh, I'm joking. Wow. I'm joking. We got receipts, we got receipts. It's unreal, right? <laughs> you see, ever seen anyone down here? Uh, in two. Yeah. Yeah, in two, yeah. Oh, oh my god. god. Can you believe that? You left these baggers off. I'm, not <laughs> <laughs> I'm just here watching the video. I'm liking and subscribing to this video right away. Oh! <laughs> that was a vicious hit. Yeah, it was. Three to go. Three to go. This is why we saved him though, right? This is, this is the hole. This is exactly why we saved him. So many. I wanted like birdie this and then have like four goes at it up the last. So what but we got left? No, one mulligan left. So originally, after talking to the course designer, there was actually going to be another part three elsewhere, and this was going to be the 18th from yeah, here right. to there. And it was only this that you hadn't, they hadn't even thought about this. There's a much smaller gap there. Chopped all the trees yeah. out. There was no gap, wasn't there? It was just all those trees. He got that. Yeah, they're all going right. Yeah. Here we go, here we go. Even any point me hitting. <laughs> yes, yes. Straight yeah, straight in. It's got the power. No, it's nowhere near. He's well, two for two in the a... war. <laughs> made contact there. <laughs> Double breaker up two slugs, it's not my best look, but this would be options. But I guess if we're going for straight score, I guess we're pretty focused on 59 right now. If we're going for straight score, I would say take it up the last, make sure you make birdie, but. What do we think? We think he's gonna do it or not? You think? I, I, it depends what the pin looks back right. Yeah. And I think he's gonna hold it. You think he's gonna hold it? Yeah. yeah. You, feel, you feel that in the Confident air? Confident now. Feel that in the air? Just a little bit of magic? Look at the clouds yeah. coming in. A little bit of Midland magic, that. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely <laughs> lovely. Oh, absolutely lovely. Midland magic on a mid-summer mid afternoon. 
I know that did, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. If it was in, the cameraman would be going mental. Couldn't have hold <laughs> and he's, he's not. He'll come off short. No 59. Video over, guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> now he's on. Canada Tour Pro Shoot 59 with 10 mulligans. Not quite. But for lucky, how do you Tell you what, thinking down. back on things now, where did I lose the 59? Par 5. Two mulligans didn't make birdie from the middle of the fairway. Yeah, like Rick said, I'm going to be doing a little bit of behind the scenes of kind of what it looks like to be a, a tour pro on the Challenge Tour this year too. So if you want to follow along and see how I'm doing, log in there as well. But well done, mate. I thanks think, for having I think me. What a place. What a day. I fancy that challenge again. I'd like to do it again. Iowa. Let's do it. Next time I'm over. Next time you're over, let's do it at Iowa. Great day. Oh yeah, i got to give you the money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? Did you he say 59? 59. I, to be honest, it was a bit of a shit bet. He had 59 and less. Yeah. Sorry, 60 and less. I had anything Also, I need, that putt was huge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I told you I wouldn't tell you. Oh, I didn't even realise that I, putt was so big. I willed, I willed it into existence. Yeah. You know, I willed that it was close. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>